Hello, Leo. Welcome to your um, incoming love for August of 2019 reading. This is your Lionsgate um, period or time reading, all right? So um, let's see what do we have for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, during this time, it's Leo season, it's time to action, and um, it's time to open up to the world and um, be, just be open for high vibrational energy to come into your life. All right, um, let's see. So this incoming love reading could um, literally be a new love, like a new person coming into your life. Or for some of you, this could also be um, pertaining to uh, a person that you may have dealt with in the past and then now they are coming in um, as a new love opportunity for you. So I'll go through the reading and um, you see how it resonates with you, whether this is a new person or a returning person, you let me know in the comment section below. All right. And um, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, if you need private readings, information about the tarot decks, um, my website is all in the descri description box below. And if ever I would extend this reading today, the link would also be in the description box, all right? All right, let's get to your reading. This is um, Lionsgate Incoming Love for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of August 2019. By the way, I'm using a new um, tarot deck for you. This is an indie deck, and it's really lovely. It's really pretty. We have a lot of um, tarot deck creators online right now, and I'm just lucky I got one. I found one here. All right, Leo. Incoming love. You have Ten of Pentacles, Keeper of the Sacred, which is um, Hierophant, the Six of Wands, the Hangman, the Sun, Page of Cups, King of Swords, Justice, the Star, Leo. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Swords. Oh, it feels like this person may have had a recent um, debacle in life, recent ending, painful one, in fact. It could be a breakup or betrayal, any form of, of um, an event in, in their romantic life that may have caused them really deep pain. This person could even be you know, brought rock bottom because of that incident. And now, they're back. <laughs> they're back. Okay. Back as in back in the world and looking for people to meet and probably then you're meeting them. So this could either be a new person, like I said, that you'll be meeting or a person returning into your life that you may have had uh, a breakup before or... Um, somebody in your past all right um, Leo this person is um, loves stability enjoys the daily well not mundane but the regular kind of living um, of having family white picket fence perhaps having kids dogs um, wide acres <laughs> Uh, what is it, colonial house, things like that. But the, the, for them, um, this person is loving that stability or groundedness that um, a family or a unit, a family unit brings. Um, it could also be stable in life financially, um, could be good with <clears throat> long-term investments, whether in their uh, relation, relationship or um, in career even. I could see here that um, for some of you, this person could very well be married in the past or even, you know, when you meet them. Let's see how it goes. But this is a, a person who has that um, sense of 
loving commitments, commitments that they feel can give them groundedness, can give them um, stability. Okay? It's funny because when you meet this person, I feel that when you meet this person, Leo, for some of you, this person is already committed. Either that or the moment you meet this person, they have that inclination that they want to commit to you. So see however that goes. <laughs> you want to commit right away. But nevertheless, um, this connection right here is more like this person is ready to settle. They're ready to settle. They could be in a... Uh, you do feel this person is really very... Um, could be successful, getting attention from a lot of people. Could be working in... Uh, like in the media or... You know... Um, a known person. A popular person to start with. They get attention from fans, from followers... They can even be rocking in their job, so, yeah. They're victorious. They're happy. They are not, They know how to be up there. Okay? All right. Leo, as you start to meet this person, it feels like... It feels like, with a hangman right here, it feels like you are asked to see things from a different perspective. Or this connection will indeed ask you to see things from a different perspective. Maybe this could be a relationship or a connection that you're not very used to having. Why I'm saying that is because what I'm strongly getting here is that this could be a person who is doing well in, in their career, in their... As strongly, I feel that this, for some of you, this person could be married. A committed person who is up there can be a... like a person in the center stage, a politician or a, an official, so to speak. And when you see this person it it feels like you are both you feel you have that feeling that oh this is the one for me but maybe not so just yet and that um as you go through this connection guys i'm just reading the the energies i'm seeing in these cards okay um as you go through this connection you would be asked to look at things from a different perspective maybe this is not a traditional or conventional a relationship that you're used to having. Okay? Why I'm saying that? Because the challenge here is the sun. It appears like um, there is a challenge bringing up everything into the surface. It appears like you cannot be out there telling the whole world that you are in this connection, you are in this relationship. You can't just uh, be out there or this person is not able to fully declare to the world that you are together, basically, no matter how involved you are. Yeah? For the um, long-term potential, I feel that as you continue to go out, be together, you would grow affection, you would grow deeply in love with this person, and it would appear like, <clears throat> as you go on together, it appears like this person would, there's always that need to apologize. Yeah, I do feel that. And the outcome here is that 
regardless whatever happens in this connection guys i know it has become so specific right but i'll let me continue <clears throat> i'll clarify all these cards in the extended so we get more um details juicy details underneath huh okay the outcome here is that um, you both know where you stand and uh, with this owl it's cute you both know where you stand and um you see things from a global perspective. You have wider um, knowledge of who you are to each other. Why I'm saying that? Because this guy is on top of the mountain, having that view of a wider landscape, knowing his truth, knowing his truth, whatever he's got, and um, he's got clarity of things. So this person very well know where he is at, what he is getting himself, why, why I'm saying he, so it could be he or she, all right? So this person very well knows um, where they're at, where or what they have, what they're getting into, especially in this connection, and they very well know how to say the right words. But not just to appease you with words, but because this person is um, the king of swords comes with um, truthfulness too and clarity. So regardless how things would transpire, at the end he, this person would always be sticking with his truth. So an example, if indeed there, this is a connection where the other this person is married and then you're not ready to be out there to declare to the world that you're together just yet so you would continue going together but at the end of the day if you fight if you argue if you complain that um why can we not um be together openly and this person would always say you know where we stand you know um where we both are right now and you know my circumstances so there's always that clarity in them okay i'm so interested to see this in the extent that how things would um, unfold maybe you know things can this is just the first uh, and um the advice for you leo here is that balance justice do what you think is right to make this relationship work so this card actually talks about how can you make this work how can you what can you do to make this relationship or connection work and it says here bring back balance truthfulness and um, do what you think is right for you or do what you think is right period the overall advice is that um, Having faith on uh, having faith on the um, destiny that um, you feel is meant for you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna extend this reading. I'm excited to see how you know what um, the possible um, insights we can get after clarifying each of these cards. We have Ten of Swords. There's been an ending. Waiting for reconciliation. And somebody making a final decision. And a possible new love after that decision is made. Alright? So, Leo, I'm going to extend this reading. The link will be in the description box below. For those of you who are not going to the extended read, I hope this gives you insights for your incoming love for um, August of 2019. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, as well as the bell notification. And, yep, if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.